She can't get to me, can she? No. I just she, wanna. She's attached right here. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. I know she, she'll be fine. The black one? Yeah. But this one may snap. Yeah, that one I'm, I'm... Hi, baby. I'm still leery about. Hi. And she's wagging her tail, but does she trick you when she wags her tail? I don't know. She hasn't been around other people that I know of. Well, the one person that you said she snapped at. Like, it, was a, it was just a, a regular walker. I mean, I believe she was sitting down on the bench. And but was she wagging her tail at the time, or do you, can you remember? I can't remember. Hi, that was baby. right after I first got her, too. Hi. Hi. The black one you said will be fine? Yeah, I can hold her back. Okay. Her. Hi. I want to. I want her to see me pet the black one. Hi, baby. Hi. You got her? Yeah, I got okay. her. Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's shy. Hi. You want to smell me too? Don't bite me though. You got some <laughs> sharp teeth. Hi. See, I'm petting your buddy. Hi. Yeah, I ain't even gonna chance it though. <laughs> Aww. Okay. I, I still don't quite trust her yet. Yeah. Yeah, they know though. But I'm trying to expose her. Right. You never know what happened to her before, you know? Yeah. Maybe she got abused or yeah, something. Yeah, because she was, she was astray on the road. Oh. Living outside on her own. Yeah. For the first year and a half, I think they said. Oh. Is when they got her. Okay. And she's only five. Well, I'm glad you adopted her, and now she has a good home. Yeah. And she got a sister. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, they got another one at home, but she's uh, she's good. She's a pity. Uh huh. We didn't know she was a pit, but we adopted her, too. And she's really good, but I think when we got her after a year, the owner had turned her in. Oh. And she always acted abused. Anytime I'd yell at her, she'd cry. Oh, no. So, I mean, but she's really good, but she's heavy. And I would love to walk with her again, but she won't drink the water out of my thing, and I'm afraid she's going to overheat. Oh, no. She's never, you know, hurt anybody or snapped at anybody, but she's just, yeah. she won't drink no water. I've tried my best to give her water, and, and she refuses to... Drinking well, water and if she I'm doesn't, she's gonna overheat, and she's the one that I, needs the walker because she's so fat. She won't overheat. Like she knows, you know. That's just like a baby. If you haven't fed a baby for hours and you're like, it's time for you to eat, but they won't eat it. They'll eat when they're hungry, you know, or drink when they're thirsty, you know. Right, and she's 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 a, a good dog and lovable dog. She's just she's just. I'm afraid of her overheating. She won't. She won't. I promise she you. She loves to go bye bye. She loves to go on walks. I, I'm just afraid for it. And um, I don't know if the owner turned her for what reason, but I had to foster her before I could adopt her because they went to go fix her yeah. and realized that she was pregnant. So Aww. I fostered her until she gave, had the puppies. Mm. And um, they said, oh, she'll only have maybe. You know, first time only being a year old, first time getting pregnant. She only had maybe six or seven. She had 13 puppies. 13? 13. And some of them were messed up to where their nose wasn't fully developed. It had a crease here. Oh, no. And she ended up suffocating the runt, not knowing. Yeah. And uh, so i went ahead and let them finish fostering her while she had the puppies so they could take care of them and they fixed all the noses and Aww. and adopted every one of them out so that's good and then they said do you still want her back i said yeah i still want her back she's still a good dog and, and we got her back and had her since but she hasn't lost that baby fat she's still i mean it's been a couple years several years i mean she's well, five you got do you live in a house or an apartment i live in a house with five acres with what? the doggy doors to where she could go in and out. And she won't. She's lazy. Because <laughs> I was going to say. She doesn't just, get out there in the heat too much. If she won't. If you can't walk her. That's what I was going to say. Just play with her for a little bit in the backyard. Just even if it's five yeah. minutes, ten minutes a day. She loves She loves outdoors. I mean, when we go. Sometimes I'll walk the property just to get them out there. Because I have two cats too. And they'll follow. Oh. Around walking in the property too. Yeah. Of course, I don't have them leashed. But. Okay. They, uh. They all to, you know, yeah. trying to give them some exercise. 
I'm out here giving myself exercise. I figured I'd give them exercise. You're doing your best, and you, it sounds like you're doing a good job, yes. you know? So, your babies will the let you know. The only problem that the previous owner said she had with her was she'd go after lizards and eat lizards and then throw up because she'd get sick from the lizards. Oh, no. So, when she runs up to a tree, that's what she's looking for. It's a lizard. You're looking for a lizard? And that one's Zoe, right? Or no? That one's uh, Roxy. Roxy. Hey, Roxy. Hey, baby. Hey, Roxy. She loves lizards. Hey, Roxy. Aww. Well, you're doing a good job. What's your name? Chris. Chris? Yours? Sade. Sade? Yeah. Like the singer nice Sade. To nice to meet you, too. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep them busy. And I used to get dogs that were purebred. And they were good dogs, too. Yeah. But, I don't know, the older I am and, and seeing all these homeless dogs. Don't, don't you wish you I could started, get them all? Yeah, I started getting four at the Humane Society now. Yeah. I don't care what breed they are now. I know, that's right. They, they think she's part wrong. But she's kind of small. Yeah, I mean, she could be less. I found dead frogs. But the only one she, I mean, she released the uh, bunny. I saw her bringing in bunny and I heard it crying. And I didn't know if it was a rat or a bunny or, or what she was bringing in. Right. I heard her crying. We went out there to get it from, uh, keep her from releasing it. And, and, and uh, you know. released it and it popped and I still wasn't sure but we didn't know uh, what it was but it, was, uh, it got away and we ended up searching for it and she kept going back after it oh no and uh, I had to lock it managed to go in a bedroom underneath the an end table and we had to get her out because she was determined to get that bunny oh, Lord. and uh, we realized it was a bunny and we got we finally caught it and she's sitting there at the bedroom door and, and you didn't keep the bunny no we we were we went ahead and um shut the doggy door to keep her from going back out after it and right. we released it and where we released it we weren't sure if she damaged it if she killed it or what but when we released it the next morning we went and and that's my other cat got her. Oh no! <laughs> Hi. But she didn't see her, and and she be, she seemed to be fine when yeah. we got there. So I'm hoping that she did survive. I, I like to so think too. that she survived. Aww. But yeah, Hopefully we released her, and, and we just uh. But she's brought us in a couple bunnies. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah. It's like she does it to, you know, and, and we put a bell on her because she's trying to impress you, like you said. She's not just thanking you, she's trying to impress you, showing she, you that she can hunt. <laughs> yeah, and, and she's been doing that. I mean, she's a little bit older than all of my dogs, like a year older. Okay. Because I got them to before I got the dogs. Gotcha. But she's, uh, she's a character. She's just. What's her but name? She stays in mo most of the time indoors, but she does love going outside and she'll. What's her name? Her name is uh, Finley. Finley? That's what they named, named her. We okay. call her Finn. Finley. And the, the, other other one, the other one's Abby. Abby and Finley. You got all these girls. Yeah, I love girls. Really? Girl I've cats. always I've, had boys. I've always had female animals. Uh, really? Growing up, my, my parents, except for they did have one male shepherd. Okay. I mean, we had several female shepherds. Right. But we had one male shepherd. The others have been all females. I just said, and well, my sister would, I mean, she'd find cats on the beach or, you know. This may and be a stupid bring them question, home, but. But they stayed outside and, and they weren't inside cats. This may be a stupid question, but when you get them fixed, do they still have a cycle? Do they still bleed? No. No? Okay. So that makes sense. Because yeah, that's was, a plus too. I was like, I don't want any dogs bleeding all over my house, and I don't need no, to bleed myself. No, that's a plus too. Like, ugh. Okay. All right. Hi there. Hi. The tails are wagging away. Yes, it is. Say hi. <laughs>
She said she don't trust the brown one yet. That's why I was I was she's, watching her. She's still pretty new to me, and she was adopted. Yeah, because yeah, I wanted to pet her. I pet the black one, but she said she don't trust but the brown one. But there was one time, her wagon right now, though. shortly yeah. after I got her, she was, uh, somebody else went to go pet her because, and she ended up. How did they go in to pet her? From top? I don't remember. Cause I she was sitting to, down on a bench, I wanted to so try, I don't but, know. Because she looks happy. Like, how can you tell if she's going to bite? Will they still wag their tail if they're going to bite? Well, if they're nervous, they'll, mm. they, they'll usually tuck the tail then. Yeah, oh, that's what I thought. Because she's wagging it. Zoe. But be Zoe or Roxy? Roxy. Roxy. Being adopted, you hey, never Roxy. know. Hey, yeah. Roxy. Until you get I mean, I adopted her too, but she was a puppy when I... I mean, she was only eight weeks old. Because if you want to try, you get down on the same level. <laughs> really? So I won't look so big to her? Like, yeah, that's well, what I did. I. you come in over the top, it's menacing. Because oh. it's coming over them. It's my husband, man. <laughs> Look, <laughs> take your husband. I'm a she dog said, "Let's whisperer. go." <laughs> you a dog you whisperer. Learn how to crank the ears, you so. must be from up north. I hear that accent, Jersey or something. Or New York, New York. All <laughs> right, <laughs> girl. Let me get to this fish, and I got to reel yeah, my poles in. Get my walking done. Okay. Well, it's nice meeting you, Chris. Nice meeting you. And me. Zoe and Roxy. Bye, Zoe and Roxy. See you later. Look, she's still wagging that tail. You have a good one, hun. Thank you. Thank you. I need it. <laughs> Who the know it? She about talked my ear off from the last clip when I told y'all it was 11.16 and when I was putting my pole together. Let me see what time it is now. It is 11.59. That's how long I've been talking to this lady. And she's nice though, but she just kept talking and talking. I'm like, I ain't even fished yet. She's super nice. I just think she was probably lonely and wanted somebody to talk to. <clears throat> and I'm glad I was here to give her those 45 minutes or so. All right, so let's get back to it. I gotta put my leader on here. The leader is with the little line and the hook. Put that bread and bait in there. I gotta find it. Bobbers in here. I got my leader right here. I already lost the one. That's why I wanted to buy these because I knew that was gonna happen. But it seems like I lose my leaders more than anything. Um, no, nah, don't be trying to come over here to my spot. Uh-uh. Yes, I am. It's gonna, it's gonna be on YouTube. Why you wanna be on YouTube? You already on YouTube from when we did the house painting. Yeah. Cordell. Who boots you so you had the boots on the whole time? Yeah, my name is 60. Your name what? 60. Why your name 60? Because I keep 60 on me like I'm Nipsey, you know what I'm saying? Boy, shut up! <laughs> Why you holding his hat? Little airboat. Happy birthday to my brother JT today. October 28th. Tried to call him. Answer, wouldn't answer the phone. I sent him a text, but he never texts me back. I don't think not one time in my life. I don't know if he just don't text or what, but my brother has never replied to my text. But he usually answer or call me back. So, yeah, both of our birthdays are on the 28th of the month. I'm finna switch spots in a minute. I've been over here for a good while, but I haven't fished for a good while because I talked for about 40, 45 minutes. So, but I'm going to go back over there to the pond with them in a minute. Even though some of the weeds are cleared out, as you can see, they moving. Oh, and I'm taking these night crawlers back. I should have known when I saw the bottom looking like that. These things are dead and stink. Look at this. That's disgusting. Can y'all see? I'm taking them right back to Walmart. Sure am. My receipt is in one of these bags. Thought my bag was going to fly away when I was talking to that lady, but um, 
I got my purse in there, so good thing I had that weight because that wind was going hard. Shell. Well, if the wind blow too hard, I'm out of here. I know these gators looking right up at me. But they look I lit up. And they can literally crawl on this wall and come right up here if they wanted to. Let me check this one real quick. I was gonna reel that one all the way in. I think I got bread and worm on this one. This one not too far out, this one right here. No, I just got worm. I need to put some more worm on here. y'all hear me i mean i like seeing them they cool and stuff but mm -mm. i've seen too many accidents happen they going fast and they loud and uh, they holding their arms up looking at them on the other side of that tree i don't like them jet tiny and they be too low and stuff Always around this time of the year, I believe. I always hear what be going on. I know them birds all dance. See that powerful noise? When you be in your house, it sound like it's coming right at you. I swear it do. Ain't too loud. Okay, it's time for me to pack up and switch spots. Because I ain't even getting a bite. At least in the pond over there, I should be able to get something. Look at this. Something cleaned my darn hook. Probably while I was watching them darn jets. Hmm. Sound like she called me. Yep, because they got her daughter running this way. I finna come over there where y'all at. Y'all leaving? Why? Okay. You want me to call my son's phone? Yeah. Thank you. All that water's gonna drain because they got holes in there. But what? They're gonna die? Yeah. They're but that's, that's okay. I'm not gonna be here long anyway. Which one? The one behind you. That's the next little couch. This big head, Mari. Right behind you. Right behind you. Put me on the Right behind hey. you. Right behind hey. you. Okay, well, your fishies are dead. They dead? Yeah. That's my Where friend. Tell them your name. What's your name? No. Hi. What's your name? You don't want to tell them your name? Oh, she's so mean, y'all. My That's name is Lily. Lily Pad. Lily. Lily Pad. Lily Pad. Oh, she's not mean. She was talking about dream catch none yet. And I was like, no, nah, because that lady not talked to me for about 45. And then I turned around and she was right behind me. And I was like, oh, shoot. But I just had a big one on the line and that thing got my hook and everything. I think I put the darn barber on. 
like in between this line right here. I think I just put the line in between that, don't I? Like y'all can answer me now. But how do I get it to stay? I don't remember. Honestly, don't. I ain't put a barber on it so darn long. I don't remember how to get it to stay. I might have to look this up. Mm-hmm. You threw it at that time? So I'm biting it, I'm telling you. So every time I throw it in that spot, the bait is gone. I can't catch them for nothing. Only on that reel right there, though. Maybe you can catch them. You felt them again? Told you. Huh? Can the minnows eat the bait like that? That quick? Because it sure feels like something small. Remember me and my mom went on that boat on the 4th of July. Many, many, many years ago. Mom, if you watch it, you remember that?
dump this. I ain't even gonna keep these small fish. Ooh, they the water and drain. Are they dead? Dump these in the pond. Stop to eat them. Oh, you wanna dump it on that side? What a big fish is. Sling it out there though. Probably should have done it on the other side so the gators and shit can eat it. That's all of it. Try to rinse the bucket out a little bit with some of that dirty water to get the dirt out. I think I got that bucket on the side of the road somewhere. And I was using it to plant stuff. That's good enough. Bag. But I need you to get that cooler too, some kind of way. Under the table. It's a cooler. I bought a for a penny. People gonna forget to look for those too. Find them on the top shelf, a whole bunch of them. And have to scan them and they scan for a penny. That's my first time using them. Because I don't want to throw my reel in the water. It do say no fishing. That's what I was just asking too. If the mess said no fishing. And Mike got us down here about to go to Giselle. Normally fish a wildlife mess with y'all down in salt water though. And in the boats and stuff. So I told you. They asked me to come out fishing like so I ain't got them on me. But I wonder if they can run it like they can uh, driver's license to see if I have one because I got a fresh water license and a salt water license and the boat license but, uh, they normally approach me when I'm on salt water I haven't had to deal with them I don't think I've ever dealt with them on fresh water when I was younger like a child and I used to see them come up to my dad check his cooler and stuff like that Hi, I'm good, how are you? My kid walking over there, I'm gonna stop right here. 